A Waco family who owns one acre of land in Falls County is now having to pay taxes on two separate deeds to keep it. It's a messy problem, but far from the first they've had with the county. In fact, Six News has covered a county mix up with this same property before. Here's Six News' Andrew Moore. Yeah, it turns out Six News actually covered the beginning of this issue more than 13 years ago. The cervix property in Falls County had two deeds for some reason, and one of those deeds got auctioned off along with their one acre. They thought the county had it sorted out, but apparently not. All the way back in 2006, reporter Stacy Weaver found the county had two separate deeds for this property and went to the local judge with the issue. The county later gave the property back, but somehow the two deeds remained and were taxed separately. The family is being taxed for the land they own and land the county awarded to them afterwards. But at the same time, this land was also sold to a third party. Now, Melissa Cervix Smith says the properties could be auctioned all over again, and she's having to pay on multiple tax accounts to keep it from happening while the county supposedly sorts it out. I was told by the people who collect taxes that I needed to come in and pay on both properties to stop the auction, to which I did. Cervix says the county also told her she may owe up to $7,000 in back taxes. The Falls County Appraisal District, meanwhile, has the properties separated correctly, but the deed history is missing online. So, Six News will be reaching out to both the tax office and the appraisal district to try and get things sorted out. In Waco, Andrew Moore, Six News.